Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our very latest chairs. So this is the Lift Tech Smart Chair and Lift Tech Smart Chair XL. Um, Lift Tech Smart Chair is basically a natural evolution of our Smart Chair One. So it's built on the same frame. The only difference is it's got a tubular crossbar rather than a straight crossbar. So in this particular chair, the battery slot down into the frame, down like this, rather than in the end. Okay. So as on this particular chair, on the normal smart chair, you've got 48 centimetres between the armrests. On the XL, you've got 52, 53, I do apologise. Uh, so this would certainly suit the larger individual. They do both take up to 160 kilograms, but obviously it's the space between the armrests that really makes the difference because it's this crossbar when you're sitting in it that can dig into people's hips and thighs and things. Okay, so what's been upgraded on this chair from the standard Smart Chair 1? It still has the same foot plates, same armrests, same in and out quick folding mechanism, which we can do in one to two seconds. Um, it's got the same motors, same control panel, same joystick. It's now got new extra soft cushioning in the back and a nice spongy ergonomic cushion. So before the old cushions were about two and a half inches and now more, more closer to three. And they've got nice sort of contoured lines in here, uh, which make for a much more supported and more comfortable ride. The other upgrade for the 2021 um, model is the batteries, like I said, go into the frame here. I'm actually going to hook out a little key and I'll show you how these operate. So nowadays with crimes on the rise, people realising that mobility um, equipment is pretty expensive, especially the batteries. So to stop these batteries from actually being stolen, they're completely lockable. So it's got anti-theft battery locking technique uh, system. So you pop your key in here and your batteries will simply slot out. On these particular batteries, you can charge directly through the joystick if you want to charge both batteries separately, or you can charge with our little charging adapter directly into the battery itself for off-chair charging. To pop the battery in, you simply line up the battery in the back of the rack and then turn your key, push down, and pull. So no one actually can take these batteries at all now. There's also a little button if you bring the camera around on here at the back of the chair and that will tell you how much charge is in the battery itself. What else comes in your little bag is you've got a little tool kit, your battery adapter for charging the chair through the batteries and a seat belt and a spare set of keys for both sides of the batteries. There is actually a left and a right hand battery, so do make sure that the left hand battery goes in the left side and the right hand battery goes in the right side, because otherwise they won't lock in and they'll just pop out. Okay, so I just want to say before I continue, I do apologise for the shorts and flip flop attire today. It is 28 degrees outside, um, it's pretty hot, and luckily I'm the boss so I can get away with wearing what I want to be fair. Um, so I want to be comfortable. Um, so I'm going to go through the folding and unfolding of the chair now. So to make this chair really, really sleek, and was one of its great designs that makes it easier for lifting into the car, wheeling around, makes it more compact. Uh, we're going to remove the cushion. I'm going to put the chair on its side so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So at this back of the chair, if I get the cameraman just to come around here, it's got a locking system. So when you unfold the chair, it actually locks it into place. So you don't have to worry about any catches. So if I'm going to fold the chair, I'll simply push that forward and then with my hand at the top of the backrest, I'm just going to push that forward a little bit so it's no longer catching. I then position myself in the middle of the chair. I forget about this hand for the time being. I bring this hand to a middle position and just bring my hands forward. Simple as that. The first process is I push the foot plate away, lean the chair forward so gravity is already helping the chair kind of unclose and I just give it a helping hand and push it down. Alternatively, and this is even easier, and slightly cooler, you can just stand behind it or to the side bit and flick it out like a push chair. So it really is one to two second folding and unfolding and anyone can do it. Even if I'm a serviceman and I have one arm, I can still fold this chair. So one hand, all the way down to the floor, still using one hand, unfold one hand, and that's literally a piece of cake. I have a lot of people customers call me saying, oh, I need um, an electric folding chair, so it does it all for me. I'm like, no you don't, because that straight away adds another five kilograms to the chair itself, making it no longer a lightweight folding chair because of the electric motor that's needed to do the folding and unfolding weighs about five kilos. So it turns a 26 kilogram chair into about a 31 kilogram chair, plus they always break the whole time, so that's why we don't do it. Literally these chairs are so easy to fold and unfold, you just, just know you don't need the electric ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go around this chair, talk about the components. You've got two 250, 
what mode is at your back. If you have these toggles down, you're in either handbrake mode, so the chair's stationary, or when the joystick is attached, that's how you would use it electrically. To put it to free wheel mode, you simply tap these up, and you can do this with your hands or your feet. They're really easy to get to. Um, and now you're in push mode. So what this means is you can push someone in it really, really easy. So the rule of thumb is, and I've gone through this in other videos, the better quality of the motor, not only will it work really well electrically, but it'll be much, much easier to push. So I'm going to start this, you could use this even as a stroll. You can stand behind it, taking your weight, because exercise is good. It's like the old saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. So we do try and encourage our customers, if possible, to try and stay as mobile as possible. And then say you get tired, you just pop this motor back into electric mode, put your cushion up, where well, the cushion will be on already, um, and use the joystick, and away you go in electric mode. What well, it's also really good is, Rather than lifting the chair out to the car or out down the hallway, we would simply roll it, really, really simply. If you're rolling it forward, it's easier to do a push by the legs, or if you want to tie it behind you like a suitcase, you'd grab it from the foot plate. So, although these chairs are very light for electric wheelchairs, they're still quite heavy in the grand scheme of things. So, they're 23.5 kilo, kilos without batteries and 26.5 kilos with batteries. Okay, so we talked already about the batteries. I'm now going to put the chair on side view again, and I'm going to talk about getting in and out of the chair. So right now, what I'm going to do for this is I'll put our cushion on. So we're done with this chair now. So this is basically the XL model. This is what it looks like from the side, from the back view, exactly the same. So it's exactly the same chair. It's just slightly more wide between the armrests for the larger individual. Okay, so there's four, three and a half kind of ways of getting in and out of these chairs. If you've got really good mobility, you can simply put your feet either side of the foot plate, find your armrest, sit down. If you've got slightly less mobility or you need to do a transfer from a chair or something, these foot plates come fully up. So you can literally spring it up with your hands, and what you see is they go completely flush to the chair, and your seat goes over this. What that means is you can literally move another chair all the way up to here, either from a three-quarter angle, from the side, or from the front, and it makes it very easy now to kind of sit back down or transfer, knowing you're going to hit the seat, your foot plate comes down afterwards. What's a really good method for a lot of people with disabilities, and especially those who are maybe on the, maybe on the larger side, is all of our armrests come up and down. So not only is this good for getting under tables, for eating, drinking, working, um, but it's also really good for getting in and out of the chair. So, what I was doing there is a little butterfly clip. If you hit the clip for down, for down, up, for up, then you can't go wrong. If you, however, pull this too far back, what happens is it locks out, it hyperextends. So if that ever happens, just push on the join and the armrest will go easily down. Okay, so you can either come in completely from the side, hold it onto the backrest, then swing yourself around, armrest comes down, or a method that I really love is literally if you come in from a three quarter angle, left foot this side of the front wheel, right foot this side, you can now find your armrest, lower yourself into the chair, and you now only have to swivel a quarter of the way around before putting the armrest down. But what's even better is when you get out the chair, you've now got a higher point of leverage. So say you've got really weak legs, you can actually now push yourself up. And, and that, for a lot of our customers, that's definitely gonna be the best way of getting in and out of the chair. Right, so, the joystick's kept in here. When you're at home, there's no need to take the joystick off or when you're out and about. The only time we need to take the joystick off is when it's being folded and put into the car. The reason we do this is because it makes the folding dimension smaller and it's gonna protect the joystick. When the joystick is in underneath the chair, please put it in the bag, it will protect it. This um, bubble wrap cover also doubles up as a bit of a rainproof for the joystick. So say you get caught out in the rain, which we will do because we live in England, of course, Reach between your legs, grab this, and put it over the joystick. The joystick is the only part that's really susceptible to water on this chair. Um, so it's through the buttons and through the charging port is the main thing to worry about. So even if it starts raining a little bit, whatever you do, grab this, put it over your joystick. The rest of the components are gonna be pretty much fine. If it does proper, proper start peeing down with rain, please just get out of rain's way because it, one, it makes it more dangerous to use a wheelchair in the rain. Um, and two, you don't want to get wet and you don't want to harm any of the electrics on the chair. So, if you've got a longer reach on this chair, you can position the joystick further out. If you've got a shorter reach, you can position it further in. When we're happy, where we want the joystick, we just tighten up 
the little bolt underneath. On this lead, you've got a white arrow. On this lead, we've got a white arrow. Simply line the white arrows up and twist the middle for a secure connection. Reverse is twist and pull. So it couldn't be any more straightforward. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the buttons in here now. So you've got green for on, red for off. Here's your battery bar. So that's basically saying I've got full battery. As you use your range up, you'll lose your greens, then your ambers, and it will look like that when you need charging. Best time to charge these chairs is when they're about 80% drained. So just when it hits that last amber or when it hits that last red, um, that means you're not triple charging the chair. It's used nearly all its battery and your battery is gonna last way longer. This side your speed. So at the moment that's speed level one, which is about 0.5 miles an hour. And it goes up to speed level five, which is about four miles an hour. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little whiz around, show you it's turning circle and things like that. We're not gonna, we will be doing out another demo outside so you can see how it handles and curves and things like that. Um, but this is just a, a quick overview for those of you who want to understand a little bit more about the chair. So you see the turning circle is great. If I take my hands off the joystick, the electromagnetic plates click and stop. These will stop me whether I'm on an up slope, a down slope, or on the flat. Let's say I'm moving forward and I haven't quite judged things right, and I'm turning over here, and I'm about to hit if I was to make this full turn. It doesn't just go forward, back, side, side. I can actually spin and reverse at the same time, avoiding things. So same as over here, if I'm gonna hit here, I can reverse last minute. So it's incredibly maneuverable. Um, it's great indoors. Obviously, it's got the big wheels on here as well. So you've got seven inch wheels at the front, PU, but you've got literally the best tires, which we use in all our smart chairs in the world. Um, they're 12 and a half inch solid rubber tyres, they're very hard wearing. They're as close to pneumatic tyres as you can physically get in regards to the properties of it being spongy, but they're fully punch proof. We do not sell a single wheelchair with pneumatic tyres because they're rubbish, our customers are already vulnerable, and the last thing they want to do is be broken down in the middle of nowhere with a punch with no one to help them. So rubber, solid, rear tyres are the way forward. Um, so there's not too much more else I can say. I mean, the kind of demographic this chair is going to be suiting uh, is people that just want a really good indoor outdoor chair. Someone who maybe want to go traveling, these are two 6AH batteries. They're plain safe for both batteries on every airline in the whole world. Um, the chair folds up really, really small. So most males can lift, certainly females and their friends could do a two man lift. I mean, we have couples in their eighties that can do two man lift with this chair. Um, please watch the videos on the correct way of lifting um, on, our, on our website. Um, also, probably about one in every three customers who buys some sort of a smart chair buys ramps as well. So it pays out all the lifting, you simply just either free wheel it in a, in a folded position up the ramps into your boot, or you can do it electrically folded with the, with the joystick, just toggling it forward. Um, to be honest, there's not a huge amount more, actually one last thing. Okay, so the seating on this chair is also adjustable. So if you remove this cushion, and then remove this top layer. So, if I bring the camera forward, if I want to have more of an upright seating position, what I do is I position this further forward. That takes out the curve in my lower back. However, if I want to have a more comfy uh, further back seating position, I now position this. Do you see how it's completely changed my butt sitting back here rather than my butt sitting here? At the back also, if we bring the camera around, you've got straps. So if you want an upright position, you tighten these straps to the max. If you want a more concave seating position, you just loosen the straps off, and straight away it's completely changed the shape of your the way you're sitting and it makes it much more kind of slouchy. To put these back on, it's easy to put the top layer on first, just line it up, put the bottom layer on and the cushion follows. All of the fabric is completely washable, please cold wash it and let it dry naturally. Whatever you do, do not stick it in the tumble dryer because it will shrink and it will not work anymore. Um, cool, I think that's about that for this video. Um, nice, to, nice to be on the video and I will speak to you on the next one. Take care.